Hello everyone, today is February 21st, 2021. It is 73 Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius in Miami, Florida. And today I'm going to take you through the fabulous design district. This area is famous for its many art galleries, creative services, showrooms, architecture firms, luxury fashion stores, and more. So, the time is around 11 a.m. and this is the intersection of Northeast 2nd Avenue and Northeast 36th Street. There's a railroad crossing here. I don't know too much about this neighborhood. It's my first time visiting. So we'll get to see what it's like together. I think this is a highway here. Let's see what this says on Google Maps. Um, this is Florida State Road 112. I think the heart of the uh, Miami Design District starts past this highway. Well, this is a public parking lot, but I don't really see too many cars here. I like the, uh, the building in front of me. It says Miami Design District on it, so definitely we know we are in it. So yeah, let's uh, make a left over here. This looks like to be the heart of the Design District. Keep in mind, it's also a Sunday, so I don't think too many places will be open at this time. It says there's more parking over there. Yeah, a lot of parking, but not too many people here from what I can tell. You have no problems getting parking. Yeah, plenty of parking here. Heck, it might even be possible to park on the street at this point. Um, I think we can go in here. Because I think part of the design district is the shopping malls around here. There's one to the south of me, set, uh, the shops at Midtown Miami. Well, I'm not even sure if that's part of the design district. Yeah, I don't think so. But this is another shopping mall. Oh yeah, definitely. Jason of Beverly Hills. I've even heard that this is considered like the Beverly Hills of Miami. There's a beautiful outdoor setup they got here. Nice palm trees, very upscale. Vacheron Constant Constantine, Bulgari with the ancient letter U there, styled like a modern V. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a big bubble in the middle of a fountain. You see here, here's another art gallery. I was telling you about it. Art in the District Marjorie's World. Is this even open? Nope. Dag Hoyer. Look at this. This is like futuristic looking. A lot of these places I can't even pronounce. Semena Kavalekis, I guess. Definitely fancy around here. Vernier Milano. 
here's something I know how to pronounce is Hublo. Yeah, for a shopping area, this doesn't seem to have too many people right now. Maybe I'll go up to the second floor. It'll be a little bit better looking. But um, definitely, it's very artistic here, that's for sure. I kind of prefer being in these places where there's not as many people, where there's art. You can snap photos and not have to worry about someone ruining the shot and everything. Definitely cool. Oh, there's more stuff over there too. But let's go up this escalator. Maybe we'll get a bird's eye view of the district and know what I'm getting into. Oh, wow. Look at this. Louis Vuitton wall mural breakwater bench 2019 we got some functional art here you can use these benches to sit so uh i kind of remember seeing a live stream earlier by james and carla i've also collaborated with them before uh, where this courtyard area was entirely set up with a Louis Vuitton setup. And they had the big LV letters here and it looked very nice, but seems like that's all been taken down now. I also think this area is quite small because I don't really see anything past that uh, building there. It kind of looks like a parking garage. There's also a uh, shop, uh, shopping center there says Midtown. That might be the shops at Midtown uh, Center, which I saw on Google Maps. Well, this is neat. Ooh. I love the reflections here with all the palm trees, too. Well, um... Let's walk through here, because I see another staircase at the end there. Maybe we can go up even higher. And I also want to check out the street level. Here's Femme Coiffure. Kind of looks like a hair salon. All right, so uh, yeah, I saw a staircase here, but this doesn't really seem to lead to anywhere interesting. So I think I'll skip over it. But instead, we'll descend here. Looks like there's an entirely new section here. We have uh, Giorgio Armani here. Oh, wow, are these hammocks that you could actually sit on and use? That is cool. Very cool. I gotta snap a picture of this. Well, if you want some cool pics, definitely come here you can sit on this thing and swing around if you wanted to like I'll do right now uh, there's a lunch spot here Mia market well I should say a food spot maybe they serve breakfast and dinner too But yeah, let's go down the escalator, make a right over there, and maybe we'll see some more things. 
I would think later on in the day this area would get more busy. Here we got the ball again in the middle of the fountain. Someone right now is doing a photo shoot. Ben Cleef and Arpels, Valentino. Yeah, this is definitely a good area to take pictures for certain. We have here Dior. Louis Vuitton, of course. If we saw the Louis Vuitton mural, well, there has to be a Louis Vuitton store. Wow, this is a whole new section of the design district now. Thank you. And now we have some more functional art. We have uh, swings here, but they're not just swings. They got stuff on the top there that moves around with the swings. This says Conscious Actions by GT2P. Wow, is this leather? Yeah, it is. It's plush. It's a luxury swing. Oh my gosh. This actually feels very nice. This is like the most luxurious swing I've ever swung on. Very cool. Look at this Fendi store. It's kind of colored like in the shape of the sun and the colors of the sun. And then we have OTL here. Oh, there's definitely more people over here. And some more uh, functional art here. This kind of looks like a rich playground. To be honest, there's definitely a lot going on in this store. What's this? Wow. So I have the choice. I tell you, I'm impressed with this area, the design district. There's a lot going on here. But it is pretty small. Some cute dogs over there. Eve's St. Lawrence. Or San Laurent, I think it's called, if you want to use it in a more specific accents. All the way through here, you get to see lots and lots of art. Look at this. Sonoko can uh, sign. Looks like those gas prices are quite current as well. And then down here, we got more stuff. I can tell that uh, Miami is very up to date on their artwork. You've got the Windward section, you got um, this place, the design district, even parts of Overtown Little Haiti had street art this is pretty cool
wonder what's going on over there. So this is 41st Street. Looks like we have Gucci over there and the Alchemist. Tega Veneta. Well, um, just looking at the map, it seems like I'm on the northern end of this shopping center where the design district is. Got two people there blowing leaves. Look at this, we got rag and bone over here. And we got this thing, Warby Parker with Sephora on the bottom. Well, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video now of Miami's design district. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these, and I will see you next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.